Hi guys, it's Marshall here with Day 7. And this is about curiosity and discovery. So, like we talked yesterday, ownership. There's a component of getting curious about our outcomes. And that's the whole point here. Because a lot of times when we come from the codependent, people pleaser, perfectionist background, we're, our self-esteem is oriented in the outcome. And that comes back to what we discussed in day one and two, that our value is discovered by how we make other people feel. So they praise us and give us comfort and pleasure and power when we make them feel good or when we do the right thing. And these are all performance-oriented value statements. We don't learn that we're actually valuable for who we are for our mere existence, for just a being. And so the, the goal here with curiosity and discovery is to start valuing our experience and who we are by focusing our, our value um, focus or what we appreciate about ourselves onto our effort and onto our beingness. Basically, we're looking at giving ourselves appreciation and praise for who we are without having to earn it because that's what real love is it's not earned it's freely given so we we give that to ourselves freely and with curiosity and discovery we start to break out of the perfectionistic mindset or what's called the fixed mindset which is oriented on the result so my value or my self-esteem is based on the result. That would be a fixed mindset. So we try to control the outcome, control other people, uh, avoid mistakes, and we don't get to discover what makes success happen in our lives. Instead, we get stuck in very rigid and narrow things. At the growth mindset or curiosity, we become a, a, a student of the experience and we value our effort in the process rather than the outcome because our effort matters the time the energy the action and the discovery we make all of that builds us up at a fundamental level to discover better how to succeed and if we orient some of our self-esteem around the effort component rather than the result component we start to feel more empowered in our lives to take risks to discover because Failure and rejection aren't fatal anymore to our self-esteem. We step back and go, you know, that hurt. But what also, what, what else did I s discover? What can I learn from this? What will I do differently? What do I need to learn? And that helps us begin to succeed. And this is, this is the real power here with curiosity. When I get curious about what will happen, I get the ability to learn. And I get the ability to triumph over failure. And I become an expert in that thing as I practice that. I also learn that it's okay to fail. That there isn't a detrimental effect to my value. That I will, I'm still lovable and worthy and I still got it going on. But I'm able to grow now without the dreaded anxiety of failure and rejection. Sometimes there's going to be that because they're big things, you know, like business or relationship, you know. Things that are really vulnerable and can impact us. So it's natural to have that. But if we approach it from curiosity, we will gain more success. We will become more confident and resilient to failure. So that's what this is all about. So follow what's in the PDF. Allow yourself to explore what you'll discover in the things that you're used to explore from or try to control. It's like if I'm trying to control an outcome of the relationship, I could ask myself, you know, what else is possible here? If I try this, I wonder what will happen. That's curiosity in action. Because you're willing to receive the honest reality of what's going on. And that'll help you make better decisions about those uh, circumstances, and choices, relationships, and dynamics you're dealing with. So I know this can be scary. There's a lot to it. I'm really anxious. But it's a very valuable tool to your growth because growth is about discovery. Okay. Thank you guys. This concludes the seven day course. Now, uh, check the PDF for other information because there's other programs available.
I invite you to enroll in the Choosing You First program, which is the logical next step in this, along with, and that includes what's called emotional mastery, helps you begin to deal with the emotional component of your growth and expand your world, both becoming an advocate, knowing what your boundaries are, how to determine what you want, need, how to ask for it, as well as manage those emotions and come up with this process. So that information is below. I appreciate you guys being a part of my world, and I look forward to seeing, hearing how this program is impacting you and seeing where you go next. Thank you guys.